Hey, glad you stopped by. Now, real quick before we get started, for those of you that don't have one yet, this video references a website from my-real-estate-website.com. Uh, you can get one by going to this web address and clicking the little sign up button. And then any links or other downloadable content that I mentioned during this video can be found on its blog post. So if you're watching it on YouTube or some other video website like that, go ahead and click that link in the description and that'll take you to the right place. And this video was recorded uh, for YouTube high def, so if the text looks all jagged and goofy or anything like that, you can click the HD icon in the bottom right corner. That should improve the quality for you quite a bit. That's me, I'm Jason Massengill. There are a few of the ways you can get a hold of me. Uh, I like communicating with text message, so if you're into that kind of thing too, then definitely feel free to shoot me a text anytime. But more importantly, if you have any questions about this video or how to do something on your website, the best thing you can do is leave me a comment. Um, enough for all that intro stuff though, let's go ahead and get into this thing now. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit properties for your real estate website. So here's what we're going to cover in it. How to download a program called Picasa from Google, which is an awesome photo editor. It's free and it's very effective. Then after you have it installed, I'm going to show you how to add a folder to Picasa so you can find your photos and how to quickly get to them. Show you how to quickly edit photos to adjust the light on them. Then how to crop them and export them so they're ready to be used on your website. And one other thing to mention is this process also works for creating images for the featured slideshow on your homepage. So if you do an article about the market conditions in your town and you want to have some kind of little chart for the slideshow image, or if you want a picture of the city hall, whatever it is, you can use this same process to create a photo with the right aspect ratio for your slideshow image. What we're not going to cover in this video is how to upload property photos to your website, how to create screenshots for stuff like uh, thumbnails and maybe a map photo or an aerial photo and we're not going to actually add the property and the details to your website. So let's start by going to Google and normally I use a program called Firefox but I'm just doing this in Internet Explorer because I know that's what most people use but just as a little public service announcement I guess if you do want Firefox it's a much better much faster browser just go to Google type in Firefox and when you search for it that first link right there is a link to their website. Then you can download it just by clicking that button right there. Try that out if you want. It's faster, more secure, just all around a lot better than Internet Explorer in my opinion and lots of people's opinion. But let's go back here just to Google and we're going to search for Picasa. Alright, it shows up as your first result there. Right here, we've got the download Picasa 3. If you're using the same version of Internet Explorer that I'm using, you'll see this little pop-up thing right here. You can click on it and download the file. If that doesn't work for you, you could also click here and you'll have the little window pop up directly. Just save it on your desktop and double click it to install it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Alright, so I'm going to assume that you can probably manage that on your own, just downloading a program and installing it. If you do have any problems, definitely feel free to give me a shout and I'll help you out. But just going to assume that you can handle that part and move on. And let's go ahead and go to Picasa. Now when you install Picasa it's gonna somewhere along the way ask you if you want to add different folders or if you just want to have it scan everything for you. You're welcome to do that. It makes things a little bit harder to find sometimes because it'll scan every image on your entire computer and it'll put it in here for you. Now I've removed every folder and every image from Picasa because I just want to show you how to find a specific one. So this folder right here called Demo Photos is the folder that I have my photos in that I'm going to be working with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Add Folder to Picasa. I'm going to expand my desktop. There's my photo right there. If I want it to always update, anytime I add a new photo to it, I could click Scan Always. I personally prefer scan once and I like to manually add folders. Whatever works for you is fine, but when you go ahead and click scan, it'll bring those things in for you. Now that we have our photos in Picasa, there's three basic little fixes we're going to make to them. We're going to crop them, adjust the light in them if it needs to be, then export and resize them. So we'll start by double clicking one. Okay, first thing we're going to do is crop. So we select this button right here, 
Now from this drop-down list, the aspect ratio that works best with our website that it was designed to work with is 16 by 10 widescreen monitor ratio. So we'll choose 16 by 10. Come over here and we'll draw a square. Notice that as I keep dragging it stops on the edge. Then I drag this way also and we'll just go to the max. It doesn't let you go outside of the picture. And we'll pick the part of the picture that we like best, that we want to stick with. The shaded part is going to go away. Click Apply. And it crops it for us. And if we want to fix any lighting, I've actually already adjusted the lighting in these to make these right. But this button right here, the Fill Light button, is usually a pretty good place to make quick adjustments because it seems like house photos from cameras are typically a little bit dark. So just adjusting this fill light right here makes it lighten them up. You do lose a little bit of quality, so you don't want to be getting all extreme like this, but just a little bit here and there, you tweak it, play around with it. When I change the fill light, I usually change the shadows just a little bit. I darken them up just a little bit, and I typically don't mess with highlights, but feel free to experiment with all that stuff. All right, now I'm not going to mess with anything. We're just going to move on to the next one. Go back to basic fixes. Crop. Just start somewhere in the middle because I'm just going to drag and resize. Okay, that looks good. I'm just going to hit enter. Move on to the next one. Crop. And we're all done cropping them and messing with the light now. So we'll go back to the library. Click on the first one. Hold down the shift key and click on the last one. Another way to do it would just be by drawing a box around all of them. But we want to select all those photos. And we want to click export. Now desktop demo photos is where they were. This part right here is what's going to be the name of the folder inside that folder. So we're going to name that exported photos works for me. We've got the option to use the original size or resize them. It remembered my settings from last time that last time I did an export like this I had it on 940 pixels. That's what we want right there. On the image quality I think by default it's on automatic but we want to make it maximum. And click OK. When it's done with the export it pops this window up for us. There we go. These are the exported photos. And that's what they look like in the Picasso image viewer now that we've made the corrections to it. All you need to do now is remember the location of the folder that you stored those photos in. When you log into your website you'll just browse here and upload those photos. It's that quick and easy. All right, I hope this video was useful. Uh, here, there's my info one more time if you want to get in touch with me. All right, what I want you to do now is just let me know what you think about it. You know, if it sucked, let me know that. If it's good, let me know. And if you liked it enough that you want to be notified when we add new stuff, then go ahead and click that pretty little gold subscribe button up there to the right. Then you'll get an email anytime we add new stuff. Take care. Talk soon.